subscribe to my channel making impossible and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my upcoming videos yo what's up friends i'm shalazari and in today's video i'll be teaching you an amazing magic trick with your smartphone now remember chris ramsey uploaded a video two days ago in which he actually taught you a magic trick with your smartphone revealing a card on your smartphone lock screen but that was only limited to iphone in this video i'll be teaching you an amazing technique which you can use on any phone it may be iphone it may be an android phone or it can be a windows phone so it doesn't matter because this technique is very simple it's very easy to do and it just follows some simple rules and this is the first variation of this trick i've got two variations actually and this is the first variation and this is the most simple one the second variation is more advanced one and the tutorial for that second version is going to be coming soon on this channel so subscribe right now if you don't want to miss that tutorial so right now let's get in the performance of my first variation and after that i'm going to show you how you can set up your smartphone for that and after that i'm going to show you the main handling so without any further ado let's start our today's video I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now, let's continue. Okay friends, you can see I have a deck of playing cards over here and all these cards are actually shuffled, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another shuffle so that you don't suspect me of arranging the card in some order like that. Okay, now I'm going to ask the spectator to cut almost one fourth of the deck just like this. Turn the entire pack over and keep it on the top of the deck. Then I'm going to ask the spectator to cut more deep, like about half of the pack and then turn it over and keep it on the top of the deck. Now if I spread the cards, you'll be able to see that some cards are faced up and after that this is the first face down card. And last night I actually took a photo and I set it to the wallpaper of my phone and that is actually the lock screen wallpaper so it looks like this you can see that right and it is similar to the back design but it's a little bit greenish but that is my prediction and how can we know that what that card is you can see this is the jack of diamonds the most free selection that you have actually chosen now i'm going to lock up my screen like this after that i'm going to turn the jack like this do like that and right now if i actually press the lock button you can see it shows the jack of diamonds in my phone screen so that's how this magic trick looks like let's see how you can do this magic trick so friends to do this trick you need two identical photos which you're going to take with your smartphone or your camera and you're going to set them as your wallpaper that is the main idea and after that you're going to take screenshots of your lock screen so for that reason i use a tripod so that my phone stays at the same position as it is actually while taking the photos and if i use a tripod it helps me to take perfect photos at the perfect position just that i have to keep in mind that i have to keep the hand at the same place and i have to hold the card at the same position when it's face down and when it's faced up now as you have those two photos you can always edit those two photos to make it look like better wallpaper and till now it was actually your wallpaper shots now let's get into the setup in your smartphone okay friends so this is how the trick is done first of all you're going to have these two photos which are identical but in one photo you have a card face down and the other photo you have a card faced up and that is the jack of diamonds my prediction so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this photo as my lock screen wallpaper so i'm going to set it like this i'm going to do like this set as lock screen and then after that i'm going to lock my phone and then i'm going to open up my lock screen after that i'm going to take the screenshot of my lock screen just like this then i'm going to open the lock of my phone after that i'm going to set this as my lock screen wallpaper so set as wallpaper and after that set as lock screen and you are done now you're going to open up the recent images like this and this is the recent image so right now this photo actually looks like my lock screen but it is actually an wallpaper so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to lock my phone like this and if i show them my actual lock screen this is the actual lock screen the jack of diamonds so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to start the trick and i'm going to force the jack of diamonds to my spectator the force that i used in this trick was the 
double cut force and you can actually learn this i have the tutorial link is given in the video description so you can go over there you can learn this force and you have to force the jack of diamonds your performance is going to depend on the type of phone you have if you have a phone with a fingerprint sensor at the back then it's going to be easier for you you're going to perform like me what you're going to do is you're going to pretend to press the lock screen button and as you do like that you actually touch your fingerprint sensor and as you touch your fingerprint sensor your phone actually opens up the photo of the screenshot that you actually took after you have set this as your lock screen so that is the screenshot that the phone is opening and after that if you lock the phone and if you actually press this again without touching this it actually opens up the photo that is currently set as your wallpaper that is the jack of diamonds so you're going to force this jack of diamonds to your spectator after that you're going to pretend to press this button and as you do like that you're going to touch this sensor and it's going to open up this photo and after that you're going to close it with the lock screen button and after that you're going to do any kind of magical gestures whatever you want and after that you're going to just press the lock screen button without touching the fingerprint sensor and that will open up the actual lock screen and in this case it is the jack of diamonds so that is the performance you do when you have a phone with a fingerprint sensor on its back but if you don't have a fingerprint sensor what you're going to do is at first you're going to keep your phone screen like this you're not going to lock your phone screen you're just going to keep it unlocked like this but this will actually look like your phone screen is locked and this is actually a lock screen you're going to show this to your spectator and after that what you're going to do is you're going to press this button and you're going to lock it and you're going to let it with your spectator then after that you're going to do the force not before that after that you're going to do the force and then you're going to show them that their selected card is the jack of diamonds then do any kind of magical gestures then you ask them to press the lock screen button which will actually open up this photo and as they open up this photo it will look like the actual photo which was the card that was face down it has actually turned face up and it is the jack of diamonds so that's how you actually do this trick if you don't have a fingerprint sensor so this is the easiest version and also you need to keep in mind that there are some pros and also some cons the pros are this is a very good effect and although you can perform this very easily and it's very simple the spectators are gonna love it but the con is this what is the time now it says 234 right it says 234 but what is the time on the actual screen it says 221 so there's a time difference and the spectators are not going to know that because of your misdirection first of all what you're going to do is you're going to ask your spectator to look at the card not anywhere else so as you tell them to look at the card their attention is only on the card not on the time so if you're performing this live you will ask your spectators to look at the card just like this then what you're going to do is you're going to lock this phone and then after doing all those magical stuffs and all those magical gestures what you're going to do is you're going to press the lock screen button and you're going to show that the card has actually turned face up and it has changed into the jack of diamonds so that's how you actually do this trick and they're not going to suspect anything because if you show this to them they are going to concentrate on this card and they are not going to concentrate on this time so that is the main thing that you're going to keep in mind this is the con that you are actually going to face and after that everything is okay with it you are going to rock and roll with this magic trick so that was the first version in which you actually show the photo then you actually show the actual lock screen so that was the first version and in this version there is a time gap there's a lot of difference your screen is turning off sometimes and this version i don't actually love it but this is the easiest version and this is the first version that i actually came up with and the next version that i came up with is actually more visual for that you obviously need a phone like this with a fingerprint sensor on the back and that is going to help you do the second version because that is going to be 
a little bit advanced but that is also easy and that tutorial is going to come out soon in my channel so stay tuned by subscribing to my channel so that was how it's done now you can use this card trick as a mentalism card trick or as a prediction card trick or you can use this as a card reveal so i hope you enjoyed learning this amazing card magic trick or a smartphone magic trick hit the like button if you did so and don't forget to check my instagram profile at shoel underscore zari and if you have any questions put them in the comment section or dm me directly to my instagram profile also don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber yet and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future smack that monday episodes peace